<laughs> What's pH? Huh? What's pH? He just he's pulling a sample. <laughs>
Well, it's just, just water, because yep. most of it is water now, because mm -hmm. it's, it's all soluble. The only thing I can do is, is actually get with the Montgomery County Health Department mm -hmm. and see if they'll come and take a look at all this, because apparently there there's some health issues for because a dog died or something yeah, like dog, that. Yeah, dog, and they said dog died and two horses, I guess, were sick or sick, something yeah, like that. Yeah, they drink out that stream, you know, but, you know, Nobody else is complaining about their horses or dogs. It's just that, that one person. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't two people. It's one person. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the best I can do. And just go back. I'm gonna go back to the office and look at the permits and all that for Huntsman and uh, you know, Exxon and all that and see what exactly they're producing out here. And if they're producing any of the materials that we found, then you know then they, they'll be further investigated. Right. Well, I know uh, right there at Huntsman, right there in. Uh, uh, what is it, uh, Jefferson Chemical? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. That it's just Crystal Creek is nothing right there. I mean, it's just Region 12, Houston, emergency response. Actually, state on scene coordinator. State on scene coordinator. Yes, SOSC. Whenever something happens in the state, pops up, we become the state on scene coordinator. Okay, so you might have to go just about anywhere. Huh? Yes, ma'am. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was called to uh, shoot about 10.30. Okay. As to some green substance in the, in the creek, in Crystal Creek. And I uh, responded by coming out here. And what time did you get here? About 12.28, 12.40. So you had to come from that farm. I had to come from uh, almost clear lake. Well, that was fun on a pretty day like this. Yeah, it wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was traffic. Very bad. Okay, and when you got here, was it fine? Well, uh, I came out here, and the first thing I done was uh, get with the chief, Chief Cody. And uh, they had already had an assessment done. Oh, uh, Chief Cody. Oh, okay. Okay. Cody and Woodlands both Yeah, Woodlands and Granger Fire Department. And uh, they set up some booms uh, downstream. And that blocks it from going any further? Well, it blocks it if it's a material that floats. But this material is water soluble, so the booms were not doing any any good. So are they going to look down? <laughs> oh, they had they're, <laughs> no, they're, they're, no, that's the first thing they need to do. Oh, they're, so that's standard protocol? Yeah. Is put booms and see if the booms are catching. Where well, they put the booms down the Exxon catch all Yeah, way there. down there. Exxon, five miles. Yeah, there's an Exxon catch all just yeah. pointing right through there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, did, did, was there ever a determination as to where this entered the water? Well, we kind of thinking that it, it entered it down here at the end of the road down here. There's a there's a little slough down there, and a driveway that goes down that way, and it's just a possibility that it probably entered there, but that's like 10 percent, you know. So if it's this dissolved, there's no easy way. To figure there's out. no easy way to figure out point of origin. How long uh, is this? This might be another thing that's impossible to determine. But it, well, with the being that when they called me, it was already five miles downstream. This thing could have been put upstream uh, last night, further upstream, way upstream. Like in the wee hours or earlier? Yeah, morning. possibly in the wee hours. I don't think anybody would. There's some pretty remote places along yeah. this water. Yeah, well, yeah, it could have been, it could have been that possibility too. But it ended up being a large slug of uh, of this material. So, what does it look like? Some kind of a dye, or what? It looks like a dye. It looks so like the dye from the from the porta potties. From the porta potties? Yes. Oh, oh God. But there I'm were, but there was nothing floating with it. Yeah, but there was nothing else, nothing floating with it or anything like that. So it looked like that there was no evidence that it was. I'd rather not use it. <laughs> right. And, and and the thing was is that uh, Huntsman, they took a, a water sample, and they found uh, 
some some constituents, thiamine, some alcohol. I mean, which is it's all diluted. I mean. So what does that mean? That means that it's just it's some sort of product. You know that it it's mostly water though. I mean, you could you could, you could go in in your tap water and you can find iron and things like that. You know. But they were calling this what fifty parts per million, which is what not much at all. Or? Yes, hardly none and at it's all. Hard none at all. Color? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's just like a like like you take a droplet of dye and put it in a bucket of water. Mm -hmm. The the dye tends to turn the whole bucket of water blue. I mean, it don't take much. It does not take much at all. Sure, cause some excitement around here. Sure, sure, yeah. So is it possible that it was kids doing a prank? Or? I don't think uh, yeah, that amount. It had to be at least a. We're we're figuring it had to be at least a seven thousand gallons of something from a tanker truck. At least how many? Seven thousand. Yeah, if that. That's a lot of material. Is there going to be any determination as to what it was? Is there any more testing? This well, actually, no, because all the all the testing has already been done. I'm just waiting on the results back. Uh, the Woodlands Hazmat, I believe, mm -hmm. they they took a a sample. Huntsman took a sample, ran it through a, a gas chromographer. Uh, I mean. So it's, for you, is this about to be closed? No, this will not be closed for me. I still have to do the the, the paperwork investigation as to what what products Huntsman has, what products Exxon Mobil has. Now, why them? Are they along this block? Yes, they are. Huntsman, Exxon Mobil, and who else? Several companies. Yeah, there's several, but you know, I'd have to go back to the office okay. and see what we have. You know, who the permit, so, who the process description. See if you're, see if any of all their information. I have to. Yeah, I have to. If any of the material matches, and there'll be questions, you know. So, so it's fair to say that all the companies that are along the water, you're going to. Well, they're all them. they're all very cooperative because of uh, Huntsman actually went ahead and took some samples, and uh, most of them already said it wasn't theirs, you know, and and. Nine times out of ten, probably isn't, because so none of them, none of, yeah, no, none of them produces them dyes, as far as I know, from memory. But they always, they always pretty responsible. They, they cooperate with the state, and you know they help us out. You had to come to this body of water before. Oh shoot! I've been with emergency response for four or five years. No, I hadn't had to come here. This the this the first. Not Crystal Creek today, is it? No, <laughs> no. I've been down on it's Saldos Road. Creek. I've been down on Saldos Road, but that's uh -huh. about it. All right. Yeah. I think that's all I need. Thank you so much for oh. your time. Oh, now that's it. Okay, first of all, your name? Walter Rodriguez. Walter, tell me, what uh, what did you find out here today? Well, actually, we, we found a green substance in the in the creek. Uh, it had extended almost uh, four to five miles. Uh, upon analysis of it through the, the hazmat and through a uh, huntsman who took a sample, uh, we determined it was non-hazardous at this time. However, we don't know where the source is at. So the source could be further upstream. But being that upstream is now clear and the substance is moving down further downstream, it'll eventually dilute on out. Okay, so it doesn't seem, it's not has, really hazardous that you know of, it's more of a dye type thing? Yes, sir, it's more like a dye. Something like the porticans or? Yeah, well, we, it looks that color. Just assuming it looks that color once it mixes in with the water, it, get, it turns it from blue to like a greenish. What about the amount of spill? Any idea how much you've been? Well, we would say that the high end, uh, uh, talking with the with the Houston uh, criminal, uh, the high end would be like seven thousand gallons, if any. Uh, but I'm kind of thinking the, the the width of the creek, 
and all that is is probably more than three thousand, but it had to be a truckload. Nothing it, just it, a fifty-five gallon drum. Right, it wasn't no fifty-five gallon drum. It had to be more than that. Now what happens from this point on? I mean, they, they had the road closed for several hours this morning. While this was going on. Well, right now the only thing that uh, that uh, the state can do is go back and and uh, look at the companies that are that are along Crystal Creek or, or adjacent to Crystal Creek and see if any of the constituents that they make uh, come up uh, and can be compared to the analysis that was made of the water earlier. Okay. Yeah, nothing, uh... okay so, so basically now you're just basically more advanced investigation stages of this? Yes, I think uh, uh, the best thing to do is uh, for the Montgomery County LEPC Local Emergency Management Planning Committee to, to kind of get involved in because most of the companies have to send in a list to them anyway. And also the Montgomery Health Department, uh, they would probably need to get involved a little bit and do their portion of their investigation. And uh, maybe between all the agencies, uh, eventually we'll have an answer. Okay. And what's your name one more time? My name is Walter Rodriguez yeah. with the TCEQ. Okay. Rather than not be abbreviated, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say what it is. Just you can say it the way you want. I'll clarify. You know, for any time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have one problem. You shoot right over your shoulder. <laughs> What's that? Well, yeah, he's cropped me out, right? Okay. I'm not anyway. Am I, Paul? Yeah, right. Oh, I'm gonna have you step up a little. Okay. I'm gonna just have you begin by saying your name. Cody Quinn. Okay, Q U I N N. Yes. And C O C O D Y. D Y. Okay. Uh, your title. Fire Chief. Uh, can you tell us what, what happened here today? At 10.43, we were dispatched out to uh, asthma scene at 3083 in Waukegan. When we got, got there, we discovered that the uh, entire creek was a bluish-green color. At that time, we contacted Conroe Rescue One, and once they got there, they... Uh, did an evaluation. We contacted the Woodlands Hazmat team, and they came out, and we started doing te some testing. Uh, what did it look like? I think just give me a description of what the water looked like. Uh, a turquoise, bluish green color. So you tested the water, and uh, or you're having the water tested, and preliminary tests show what at this point? What was in it? Right now, some of the things that are showing characteristics of in the water is... Uh, Windex, toilet bowl cleaner, and some other things like that. We sent it to uh, Huntsman Chemicals uh, lab to be tested, and the only thing they could find in it, it had 50 parts per million of an unknown substance. There are some indications you were saying earlier that you think that it might have been an illegal dumping situation. Can you tell us what's making you come to that conclusion? <clears throat> well, at the uh, point in the creek where the water is actually turning the changing colors. There is just several sacks of garbage and you can tell where people have been dumping. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's actually, there's a deep hole right there mm -hmm. and the water's uh, whirlpooling. And when it comes out, it changes that turquoise color and flows downstream. Okay, wow. 
Now, so when you're talking about uh, the amount that was dumped here, would is that would you say that must have come from say a tractor trailer truck? Uh, several years of just people throwing their garbage out. Okay. I don't think it was all at one time. I think it was just several years, mm -hmm. and the amount of rain we had recently, mm -hmm. it's flushing the creek out. So that may have been put there a long time ago. Yes. Um, so at this point, do you think that they may have to go in and dig up that soil and remove all that? And Possibly. At this, TCEQ is looking into that and see if they can uh, lo locate anything on there to indicate that an individual or. Okay. There's downstream, further downstream is uh, Lake Houston, which is one of the primary drinking water sources for Houston. Yes. Is there anything for anybody to worry about here? At this time, we don't believe there is. It's it's <clears throat> not disrupting the oxygen levels in the uh, creek, and all the fish are still alive and swimming. Okay. And I don't think it's any. We don't believe it's anything toxic. Okay. I suppose though, if they catch who's responsible, there'd be some penalties here. Yes, there will. Any idea what they are? Uh, no, sir, I don't. Okay. Anything else you wanted to add? No. Oh, so, you. Yeah. Go ahead. How did you find it? How was it discovered? It, it was a third-party call from the sheriff's department. Somebody looked at the river and said something's wrong here. Yeah, somebody looked at the river, dialed 911, and they got sent over to fire dispatch. Okay, and tell us about the the traffic and everything. Was it difficult, or did, what, what did you do? You had to shut down uh, a thoroughfare there for a while. Well, yes, we shut down 3083, but that's primarily for our safety, so that we'd have a place to work and we wasn't having to uh, maneuver around the vehicle. All right. So what what happens next? Uh, TCEQ is investigating it right now. Uh, Texas Park and Wildlife Law Enforcement is also investigating it. And okay. No. That's why we saw them down there when we were on your way over here. Yeah. That's it, Mus. Did you have any questions? No. Okay. okay.